In this video, I'm going to be going over some of the basic tools that I would recommend having if you're going to be doing much soldering. These are tools that you can solder without, but they will be helpful to have. If you haven't watched my required tools and supplies video yet, I recommend watching that because I won't be discussing those items in this video. Helping hands is basically anything that will hold your wires or circuit board for you while you are trying to solder. There are many options for these. Some have a magnifying glass while others don't. Some just have two hands and some will have several. There are even some soldering stations that have helping hands built right into them. I don't have one of those myself, but I wish that I did. Keep in mind that the clamps used for the hands have teeth that may dig into the wire insulation. Some of them will have protective pads to prevent that. If you have a helping hands that doesn't have those protective pads, like mine doesn't, I will show you in my recommended supplies video how to make your own. And by the way, I will also be putting some links in the description of this video to help you find some of the things that are similar to what I'm showing. Some soldering irons have tips that can be replaced, while others have a single permanent tip. Replaceable tips can be handy for several reasons. Obviously, if your tip gets damaged then you don't need to replace the whole soldering iron. A more common need for replaceable tips is that they have different use cases. Tips come in different shapes and sizes, each with their own purpose. When first learning how to solder, a general rule of thumb that you can follow is similar to what I mentioned about different solder thicknesses in my required tools and supplies video. For thicker wires and bigger parts, a bigger tip is better. For thinner wires and smaller parts, a smaller tip is better. Not all solder tasks need wires to be cut, but it is common. You can use regular wire cutters if that's what you have, but if you're trimming the excess leads from a soldered through hole component, it's recommended to have a pair of flush cut wire cutters. Regular wire cutters are curved, so when you trim the leads with those, there's a bit of the lead left sticking out. This won't always be an issue, but sometimes it may. Flush cut wire cutters are flat on the cutting side, so they will be able to trim the lead even shorter. If you're soldering with wires, there's a good chance that you'll need to remove some of the insulation at some point. You could use a knife, a razor blade, or sometimes even your wire cutters, but it's better to use wire strippers. If you nick the wire when you're trying to remove the insulation, it will be more likely to break where it's nicked. Just make sure you're using the proper setting for the gauge of wire that you're using. Some wire strippers are auto-adjusting, but even those will have a wire size range that they are designed for. Sometimes you'll need to remove a part that's soldered into place, and a desoldering pump can be helpful with removing the solder. Sometimes they are also called a solder sucker, because that's exactly what they do. A lot of them are designed to be used with your soldering iron, but there are also some with a heating element built in, so that you can melt and remove the solder with one device. Most of them have a mechanical pump, but there are some more expensive ones with an electric vacuum pump. When desoldering, I also recommend having some desoldering with candy but I'll discuss that in my recommended supplies video. I already have a video where I show you how to use both of these, so make sure you check out my desoldering video. These are some of the main tools that I recommend for basic soldering, but if I missed any that you would also recommend, please leave a comment and let us know what it is. And make sure you watch for my recommended supplies for basic soldering video. Also let me know if you would like me to make individual videos about each of these items where I go into more detail. Thank you for watching.